Now, thankfully, so far, we don't have any confirmed cases of measles in Placer County. Um, we are tracking a number of concerns from doctors in the community. You know, it's flu season, so we're um, hearing from a lot of doctors who are aware of the statewide epidemic of measles, and so there's a number of cases that we're uh, exploring and investigating, but so far, no, no confirmed cases. Measles is a highly transmissible viral illness, which is um, you can contract from person to person contact. Um, it is airborne, so from people coughing and sneezing, it can be left behind um, you know, on bodily secretions, um, so uh, doorknobs. About 90% of those people in contact with a measles patient who are not vaccinated uh, will get the measles. So it's one of the most highly transmissible uh, illnesses known to man. Yeah, well, so measles um, is an illness which uh, used to kill six million people per year in, uh, prior to vaccinations in the United States, or in the world. Um, and in addition to the deaths, um, could cause significant disabilities. Um, so most, it's true that most people who get the measles um, don't have complications, um, but it is um, a not so rare event that uh, people who uh, get the measles, especially people who are in uh, um, who have other health conditions, but even healthy you know, children or other adults can um, get meningitis, other extension into the nervous system, which can be fatal. So about one in a thousand people who get the measles will die. Um, and which uh, when extended, if we see you know, thousands of cases in the United States again, like we used to, um, could result in many deaths and many people with uh, serious uh, neurological disabilities. Actually, it can start off looking like a, a cold or the flu, so um, people can get a cough. Um, fever is, is often uh, a, a part of the initial uh, symptoms. Runny nose, um, runny eyes, and then the, the one symptom that sometimes is different from the flu or from a cold uh, would be a rash, and typically it's a rash that starts uh, around the head and moves down the body. Uh, unfortunately, the rash typically doesn't come until um, about four days after the other symptoms have begun, and uh, it's transmissible prior to the rash. Um, so that's one of the major concerns that we have about the um, how an outbreak can move so quickly in a community is uh, people may not know that they have the measles before they spread it. People are, are not contagious when they're generally not contagious when they're not showing symptoms. Um, however, they do become contagious typically before they have the rash, which is the hallmark of measles. So uh, people will sometimes think that it's a cold or the flu uh, and, and be, can, be contagious during that phase. In general, if, if people are just having, again, um, flu-like symptoms, um, then they should uh, stay at home, stay away from other people. Some of the same guidance that we give uh, around the flu, which is also um, right now we're seeing lots of cases of the flu in Placer County. Uh, and, and so uh, washing hands, avoiding contact with other people when you're sick, and if you're not sick, avoiding uh, contact with people who are ill um, are, are very important. Covering your cough, um, all, all the, the same things that we would um, tell people to avoid the flu. Um, that's the, the problem is with the measles, um, you know, if you do see the, um, the typical rash um, or a very high fever or the, there's spots on the tongue, which can also indicate um, that um, it's not the flu or a cold, it's, it, it's, it's the measles. Uh, then we ask that people would contact their doctor um, or healthcare provider um, initially by telephone to coordinate so that they, if, if they show up to, to see their uh, doctor, that they uh, don't get other people sick. So we, when we try to work with healthcare providers to make sure that they have a separate place for measles patients so they can be isolated and not get the rest of the waiting room sick.
So what we recommend uh, for vaccination to prevent the measles is a, it's a live vaccine called the MMR vaccine. So the MMR stands for measles, mumps, and rubella. So those are really the three different vaccines in one that are provided that prevent those three illnesses. Uh, typically, the MMR vaccine is given around uh, to, to babies around 12 months of age, and then again um, before they start school. And there's some um, a little bit of wiggle room as far as when the, the second uh, dose of the MMR is provided. Really, the first dose can decrease your risk of getting measles by up to 95%, uh, but the second dose can make it nearly 100%. Um, and so for people who haven't been vaccinated uh, before, uh, they can get the MMR. There are certain groups, so I would you know check with your doctor, obviously, before you get the MMR. There are certain groups who have um, incompetent immune systems who can't get the MMR, and then there are other uh, less effective vaccines that are available for those groups. Yeah, so in Placer County, we do have um, significantly lower vaccination rates, particularly for school-age uh, children uh, than other parts of the state or the United States. Um, and part of that, the reason why people uh, don't get vaccinated uh, seems to be because they're concerned about the safety of the vaccine. Um, there was a, uh, a study that has, from many years ago that has subsequently uh, been debunked that said that um, vaccines can contribute to autism and other illnesses. So there's a, a lot of bad science out there. And there are adv advocacy groups against vaccination, which um, have uh, spread misinformation and people are very concerned uh, about whether it's safe to get for their children to get vaccinated. Um, so we, we recommend very highly, especially now when we're seeing this statewide outbreak of measles, that um, if you haven't, um, you or your child has not been vaccinated with the MMR, to please at least get one dose now uh, in case this uh, outbreak extends to Placer County.